Now I'm like, da 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 da, this the gadget, da 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 da, because I got this bitch's location in California. Told y'all, I don't play no games. I already know about the crack hole in Baltimore. I already know about the crack hole in Virginia, in Florida, but the bitch in uh, California is about to get a rude awakening. First of all, who the fuck is this homeless bum ass bitch to be getting food stamps in my name? When first of all, if anyone should get food stamps, it's me. Okay. I don't need food stamps. They say I make too much. I went to apply just to be sure because I'm getting emails stating that uh, California is giving me all this lovely food stamps. And thank God I got the fucking email. See, one thing I'll tell you, whenever you interact with the government, you should always have a paper trail. And if you can apply online, apply online. Paper copies are easy to lose and it's easy to commit fraud. Now here's the kicker. You cannot get food stamps in more than one jurisdiction. So that's food stamp fraud. That's how I found out. Because some said, just go apply. Apply and see what the hell they tell you. You know what they told me? <laughs> you know you can't get no damn food stamps, man. I said, I know, but somebody's getting them. So that opened up the inquiry. So now I got to go back to California. Hey, And so it's going to be interesting. Because not only do I have the uh, real estate information, it's mortgage fraud. I hope Marilyn Mosby don't have something to do with this shit because I got a feeling that they do. I mean, it's not a fucking coincidence that Marilyn Mosby is not an attorney. I have their background check. Yeah, that's why they're trying to hold on to their law license. It ain't your law license. They're trying to hold on um, to that property. It's not their fucking property. And I have the exact location. I have the listing agent. I have the listing agent's um, license number. I also have the selling agent who it was sold to. So, um, yeah. See, the thing is, when I called San, when I went back to San Diego County, where I'm from, and Orange County, where I'm from, and also LA County, where I'm from, because I've lived there many, many years. My ancestors have lived there many, many years. I told them, I said, look, um, each county should be able to interact with each county. So someone shouldn't be able to go from county to county. You got chased out of San Diego, right? Carolyn Bowen. And now they want to be in L.A. County. I was just in L.A. Everybody knows that. Everyone does because, you know, <laughs> I took pictures and videos. So it looks like I'm going back to L.A. Mm-hmm. And uh, got nerd to be getting utilities in my name and some more stuff. And they confirmed it. The government confirmed it for me just now because they said, oh, using the exact same Social Security and date of birth. So I told you guys that, yeah, fraud is easy to find out. Easy. If you have the correct alerts and the right connections to uh, make this happen. It was going to be real interesting. Once again, I got to go knock on the fucking door with the police. Get your ass, get your dirty ass the fuck out of here. You know, because it's a man. They're all men using my ID. And that's the issue. That's why um, a lot of their friends get upset. It is what it is. If you want to live your truth, live your truth. But you can't be stealing women's IDs. You cannot be impersonating me my work that I do to rescue people from human traffickers, from gangs, from cartels, from a number of places. Mm. Miss ain't gonna have a field day. Home day security. Told you, I was with them. When we busted these individuals at these hostels. And I told y'all, how I was just in California, and some crazy white bitch was running their mouth in the street. They ain't gonna want to hear it. And I thought they were gonna try to follow me in the store. Hmm, I was waiting for that ass. I'm screaming about fucking somebody's husband. Who your man? I don't gotta fuck nobody's husband. I don't fuck anybody's husband. That's the problem with these lame brain bitches. They sucking and fucking everything that walk and talk. Me. I'm saving myself for the Lord, like I've been doing for almost 15 years. Wow.
Mm, mm, mm. I'm supposed to be in Tallahassee. I'm supposed to be in a lot of places over the next few weeks. Wow. This is going to be good. This is going to be real fucking good. Because now, I had to call LAPD. Like, hey, y'all remember me? I know you do. Ah, fuck. And this bitch is in an HOA. Good. So I can have the HOA now. Take action against all the realtors. See, a lot of times, in order to get the guilty party to be brought forward and be brought to justice, you have to sue everyone and let them know. Just like I let the realtor know, ironically, yesterday in D.C., you're getting sued because you allowed somebody to use my fucking ID to apply for housing. I got the fucking receipts, bitch. Mm-hmm. You were supposed to ask them for verifiable information, and obviously you couldn't get it because they're not who they say they were. So these homeless bitches, like I said, are fucking so-called celebrities. They're broke. I told you guys, I lived in Hollywood. I worked in Hollywood. Who would not know these bum bitches? I do. And so, wow, I got the receipts. I got a lot of fucking receipts from all the videos. Carlsbad PD, San Diego PD, uh, Orange County Sheriff. Queen B is coming back to California, eh? And we're going to lock these bitches down. Why not? Them going to Tallahassee, Florida and do the same. Because all these idiots do is go from jurisdiction to jurisdiction with their little fake crew friends. Want to be gangsters. So let me guess. This hoe must think that they run the Mexican Mafia. Or 211. Or Vatos Locos. Or Latin Kings. Because they damn sure don't run the DC Blacks. They damn sure don't run the Nazi Lowriders. They damn sure don't run Yakuza or none of these uh, gangs. So it looks like these bitches are about to get gang banged. And it's all going to be on TV. I'm going to make the news once again. <laughs> because that's how I caught these bitches. Fucking news reports and police reports. I find out who their probation officers is. Oh, you were locked up in my ID. Where are you? I come to the fucking jail. They don't get to running that mouth. Then they get to running, literally. You know, all the COs told me. All the inmates fucking told me every fucking way. That's how I know these bitches are men. They're sex offenders. They smoke crack. They're little druggies. They can't get their fucking lives together. They're homeless. That's why I show who's homeless, who's broke, who's crazy, who's delusional. Not me. Because I got you, bitches. And that's why I record everywhere I go. Because if I wasn't telling the truth, why would I have to deal with all this stalking and harassment? Exactly, because I'm telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, God, because only he can. Because I'm telling you now, if you think that I am going to be going to prison, you got yourself fucked up. Nope. And that's all people try to do is provoke me. So I go off. Nah, uh-uh, get that ass wrong. Fuck you doing in my country. And that's why I'm about to get my tribal card. Mm -hmm. And the United States government is going to have to ch 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 cut that check once again. Because for the past, since like, I don't know, fucking 2012, I have had to go through many trials in many jurisdictions to clear my name. Hmm. So, see, what happens when you fuck around with the wrong one? And you go around trying to impersonate me, I pop up. That's why I popped up at the Best Western, the Motel 6, all these fucking places that this bitch was. I told you I popped up on Carolyn Bowen at their motherfucking job. And I have all the videos. That's why, oh, let me contact TSA. Because one of the things that I can prove without a doubt, my ID and everything was stolen when I went through the airport. So they're definitely doing a identity theft ring, ring, ring. And so they sold my information, but they didn't have my ID. That's the thing right there. So they were able to use pieces of my information, obviously my social security card, my, excuse me, my debit cards, credit cards. That's why I had to close so many accounts. And I put alerts on all my stuff. So the banks call me, the hotels call me directly. The jobs call me directly. Yeah. 
So it looks like I'm going to be paying a visit back to Carlsbad, California. Uh, Taylor Adelman, Neil Gallucci, uh, Samantha Crawl, Abigail Kolnig, and Jessica. All of you. We're going to be uh, having some interrogations. Because y'all got to go. Can't be. And the funny thing about it was I actually have gotten jobs. I will apply for a job where this bitch is working using my fucking ID. They never have anything to say. They run a fuck away. I never fucking see them. <laughs> but everybody tells me all about them. Even this fat bitch was on the motherfucking bus stuffing their face. And I ran into them because I popped up because the driver told me, get on the fucking bus. I said, you always getting on the bus, eating and taking off your mask. I said, no, the fuck I'm not. Then Carlsbad PD is telling me, you're always coming up here being a fucking terrorist and shit. No, the fuck I'm not. Not even in the fucking jurisdiction. And so <laughs> part of why I document so much of my life and I stay in the public eye so everyone can see what I'm up to, what I'm doing in comparison to uh, people that want to use my identification, impersonate me, impersonate my children, everyone. Because everyone in Alexandria, Virginia, has already gave me the 411. They have seen this individual walking around with children that are not theirs. They're not my children, but trying to impersonate my entire family, even my husband, even my husband, Michael. So that's been kind of the kicker too, as to why y'all don't see him. <laughs> and they think he's dead. My husband is not dead, stupid. <laughs> you know, Karen wants my husband and my husband doesn't want this bitch, clearly. He's told her that how many fucking times. But the hard thing with Karen is that uh, by Karen pretending to be a woman, he can't do what he needs to do. But I can do what needs to be done. And it's going to be done. Because first things first, I'm going to rip that dirty ass wig off that motherfucking head real fucking fast. They got nerve. Little cracky whore. Crackhead. Karen. Who? And this bitch is the, you. if you've seen this bitch, she's like fucking 100 pounds at best, right? Skinny white crack whore, Cali crack whore. Picture a skinny white, snow blowing, free basing, flat footed, stringy haired street walker. Walks the beach <laughs> looking for the chewing, <laughs> fucking homeless men. <laughs> um. This bitch got nerve. You want to be a prostitute, ho? And you are fucking homeless, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I'm telling you now, I knew something was up when the motherfucking paperwork from D.C. says that it's a white male. First of all, I'm not a male. Second of all, I'm not white. So miss me with the bullshit. And their black boyfriend, who I keep catching, works at the motherfucking Starbucks. You still work over there? Um, actually, they're working at Ralph's, so I ran up on them. 1666 Rosecrans Street. Then the bitch moved to Starbucks. I moved to fucking Starbucks. Okay. Let me show my little weight loss, by the way. Yeah. So, looks like I got to get ready to pack my motherfucking bags because I'm getting the fuck out of here in a few days. <laughs> One thing I always make sure I do before I leave the jurisdiction is um, pay all my bills. Put all my bills on auto pay and call everyone I know. Do have bail, bail money on stand fucking by. Because you already know. Y'all want to know how I hit Karen with a rock and whoop their ass from one side of Rosecrans to the other? Mm-hmm. Ask about me. This bitch always calling the police. That's why they be laughing at this hoe. Got this bitch on video how many times? Getting punched in the face at Vaughn's? Running that mouth. Running that fucking motor mouth. Knowing you in the country illegally. This homeless bitch be sleeping outside of my hotel rooms. Trying to break in. Oh, I got the videos, even at Vista, in, at the Quality Inn in Vista, California. So let me tell you something. You don't think human trafficking happens at the hotels? Why don't you look up the news alert about um, Camp Springs in PG County, how they just busted them at the Super 8? 
two local rappers. I keep telling y'all that rap game, they got y'all trapped. Because they already trapped them in a rock and roll game, a country game. It's all a fucking game. These bitches ain't got shit because I've started suing them civilly. <laughs> and the lawyers are like, they ain't got shit for us to go get. I say, it don't fucking matter. I don't care if this bitch got two pennies in their bank account. It's mine. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> How the fuck you going to be using somebody's ID? And you a bum, a whole bum, getting food stamps, getting fucking uh, all these government services, government benefits. So they must be the one that got a housing voucher, huh? Must be. Must fucking be. Because I have never been able to get a housing voucher. Been on the wait list for how fucking long? Well, now I know why. It looks like that housing voucher is going to get shut down. So it looks like I'm going to have another motherfucking property in California. <laughs> Damn, these bitches are stupid, really. And I don't know how they didn't think that they would get caught. Clearly, these bitches don't think. Because I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck? Why can't this bitches use their own ID? Why can't they use their own social security number? Because they are illegal. They're in the country illegally. Why can't they apply for asylum and do it the correct way? Because they're sex offenders. Nobody wants them. Nobody wants them anywhere in any community. That's why they have to steal people's ID, such as mine, such as many other people. Well, joke's on them. Because see, one thing you can't change are fingerprints. No matter what you do to someone's DNA, how many clones, artificial, this, that, and the third that you make, you can't change biologically the womb. So all we need to do is an MRI scan, and they will see that I am a biological woman. Just like uh, you can't recreate, again, the ovaries, the uterus. You cannot. You can't. So that's why we have a DNA test done, a, a full DNA test, a full forensic screening, hair follicle, everything, because I've never used drugs. But this crackhead loves to accuse everybody of using drugs. Uh-uh, bitch. You were smoking my cocaine for a very long time in California, D.C., and every fucking where for many, many years. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, don't be mad at me. I was not going to sell my body. But apparently, this crack hole, this man and his boyfriend, they will serve anyone. You know, they, they like... Well, let me just tell you, I have their medical records. They got HIV. Many men with death on me, though I don't cry no more. Don't look to the sky no more. How you fuck you walking around a street walker with HIV? Too old for this shit. And they're pretending to be a young person. <laughs> it is fucking hilarious to me. So now I got to, uh, let me see, welfare fraud, right? So I'm going to get that uh, little welfare check snatched up. I'm probably trying to get child support. That's why I, um, not that I keep it a secret, but you don't need to know who the father of my children is. Is it your husband? <laughs> is it your man? He's not your fucking man. And I had to tell this bitch this how many times. They're fucking delusional. They don't have children. They walk around with baby dolls. I have busted them when they were pretending to be a gypsy on the DC uh, subway. This was many, many years ago. And they were walking up and down, shaking the baby doll. Oh, my baby, these fools. I'm like, ma'am, if you need some help, I can help you right here, right now. What do you need? You need um, to get some food? All right, I can tell you where you can go eat right now. You don't need to be out here. We can call... Um, take you down to Virginia C. Williams Resource Center and get you some help. That took a closer look. It's a goddamn baby doll. Bitch, you got me fucked up. I grabbed that baby doll so fast. We started tossing it from one passenger to the other. Get the baby. Get the baby. <laughs> I said, I'm calling CPS. We taking your baby doll, bitch. <laughs> Abusing the damn baby doll. <laughs> 
fucking child abuser. I mean, for, and I'm not laughing about child abuse, but I'm saying that this fool is carrying a baby all around, begging for food. The first thing you would want to do is call CPS if they refuse help. So I am, I've never called CPS on anyone that was not abusing their children. Because first of all, mm -mm. and that's why I call it closer inspection because I used to work for CPS. I know. And I know how corrupt they are going around trying to lure children, thinking that the government is going to do better than their actual family. Don't think so. The whole cash for cash scam is getting shut down. Because one of the things that we noticed was that uh, during the pandemic, all these individuals came. They were supposed to be migrants. Supposed to be. They a lot of them weren't. We knew this. Especially in San Diego. And so they didn't trek themselves after they got chased out of San Diego by me, by the sheriff, <laughs> by the police. <laughs> Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> they could not handle being locked up. How you going to be locked up with the person whose ID you stole and you over there trying to hide like it ain't you? Los Colinas, mm -hmm. when they um, had brought me down to the station to identify the individual, it was a bony, skinny, dirty, white crack hole. And I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Really? Like, nah, bitch. Mm -mm. And so in California and a lot of places, people that are actually Hispanic, that's why a lot of people keep thinking I'm Mexican. I am not. Um, they will reclassify themselves as white because on your ID, a lot of times it does not tell your ethnicity. It does not tell your race. And now they've changed it so it won't even tell your gender. They even gotten laws changed so um, you don't know somebody's biological gender off a birth certificate, right? Because I had got a call and they people, you know, were asking me like, how come <laughs> this street walker, and I know they were at the ocean beach, the drum circle, mm -hmm. everybody told me, sweetheart, everybody, they want y'all going that fucking bad. This bitch is getting free hostel stays, free hotel stays, all kind of shit, right? And then the hotel calls me. You got a bill. No, the fuck I don't. I ain't got no bill. So would y'all like to see the video about what happened when I was um, applying to be a San Diego police officer in 20, I don't know, what was it? 2021, as in Carlsbad. And that's why I caught this bitch. Working at the fucking grocery store. Bitch better put that food up on the motherfucking house. Pronto. And I called the police and I went to the fucking store and I told them I knew this bitch's name from jump. As soon as I saw the tag Carolyn, I said, oh, that's Carolyn Bowen. This bitch has been caught using my identification in multiple jurisdictions, pretending to be a black woman, pretending to be a Native American woman, just pretending to be a woman, period. Uh-uh, bitch. Uh-uh. Your time has come, ho. So now I got to find out, uh, damn, what utilities they've gotten. Because you know, you got to have that fucking electricity. I'm pretty sure this stupid bitch wants some cable. Already tried to get in that in my fucking name. That's why they told me. It is a, it's a great day. And the crazy thing about all of this is... San Diego PD and Carlsbad PD, they're getting sued because I have told them this for several years that when they did my background check, that's part of the issue. That's why I had moved out of Liberty Station, Point Loma, Ocean Beach, the whole night because of this idiot running around using my identification. Uh, let me just say this. In August 2018, they were caught prostituting themselves in Ocean Beach, California, in the back alley, Winston's. And y'all seen the video of me at Winston's, right? I go back all the time. And that's why I've been fooling them. <laughs> Any place I say that I'm from, they claim to be from there. And that's how I bust them, right? And so this little dumb bitch <laughs> and their boyfriend 
<laughs> it's going to motherfucking jail. You going back to prison, bitch. <laughs> homeless. It's three homeless men. <laughs> They're all homeless. They're all dirty. They're all fucking disgusting. And I have caught them <laughs> in Baltimore, D.C. <laughs> and beyond. And they fucking have to go to prison. I don't know why I let these stupid whores out, but they do. And these bitches ain't got nowhere to go. They ain't got no food. They ain't got no clothes. They have jack, you know. And so that's why they go around <laughs> trying to uh, adopt children. They apply to be a foster mother and nobody wants them. Because you know who applied to be a foster mother? I did. Why not? Because, um, you know, children deserve a good home. And there's a lot of people who are abusive to children, you know, and this was many, many years ago. And that's when I got word that the former foster parent that I had, Carolyn Crack Smoking Bowen Curry, whatever the fuck you call yourself, bitch, was using my ID. Let me tell you, do you know who else was out in California? Try Adrian Dirty Ass Fenty. Remember when he was dating Lorena Powell? Mm-hmm. She got dropped like a bad habit. <laughs> His sugar daddy is gone. So what do you think this homeless bum is doing? Back in D.C. working in Muriel's administration. And let's see. Who else? Well, Michelle Ree. Definitely out in California because let's see if they're still married to the... Um, was it the mayor of San Francisco? They had this whole student first. And then the other crack whore that I kept seeing in California, ironically, was a former governor of Baltimore, Martin O'Malley. Well, the former mayor of Baltimore, former governor of Maryland, Martin O'Malley. A little dirty crack smoking whore. Tell him the jig is up, bitch. The jig is up. <laughs> Your head. Going back to Ireland. <laughs> the luck has run out. <laughs> I ain't lucky. <laughs> I tell you, these fucking fools, yo. And you would think I would be stressed out, uh uh, because I already know where you're fitting to go. All of them. The whole fucking crew. Lord have mercy, I tell you. If people had a brain. That's why when I call Carolyn uh, from a Tallahassee, Florida number, yeah, this bitch was so shook that they changed their phone number. Mm-hmm. So, mm, well, what is this bitch going to do when we do the pop-up? I tell you. So let me look at L.A. County. Who is the utility provider? About to cut this bitch's lights off. This bitch going to be in that motherfucker with nothing. And then I'm going to just move in. Y'all going to I'm going to move the fuck in. Why not? Using my ID. You can't be living here. I live here now, bitch. You know. <laughs> L.A. County Public Works. Mm -mm -mm. Los Angeles. This bitch is lost. Lost in the motherfucking sauce to be fucking with me. Mm -mm. Anytime Fitness in Carlsbad, California. Where's your gym? Did it get shut down? It sure did. Because I caught the owner there. OMG. Called himself Drake and um, called himself a veteran, which he was not. Stolen valor. So I immediately called Homeland Security Department of Defense. And then he got the crying to Carlsbad PD. They all cried to the police. You should see them. Grown men. And this guy, big old muscles. I was not afraid of him. I'm like, you ain't going to do shit, sweetheart, because your ass is getting the fuck up out of here. And it may take some time, but Lord knows it is worth it. It is completely worth it. So now I got to find out what is Joshua Michael Evans up to, because he's also claiming to be from California, um, also claiming to be a veteran, <laughs> also uh, claims that he worked for Starbucks for eight years. Really? Bull fucking shit. I still have friends in the corporate office, sweetheart. Nobody knows you. He was mentioned, though, in um, some little thing. And he just showed up for a job. Nobody knows where the fuck he came from who hired him the whole night. <laughs> he 
your ass going down too because that company does not want me to come to Chicago and sue the hell out of them. And I know fat ass Amy Tapping ain't run that fucking mouth. Mm -mm, I had to shut that bitch down real quick. Gonna tell me what I am allowed to request. If I need the whole personnel file, I need the whole fucking personnel file. So I hope this motherfucker still ain't working at Foxtrot. If this motherfucking crackhead, junkie bum, okay, claiming to be a veteran of the military is still working for Foxtrot, Foxtrot, I'm coming to Chicago to personally sue your ass and drop that lawsuit. And fat ass Amy Tapping and HR bitch, I have told you, keep your gutter mouth, you trailer park, dirty ghetto hoe. <laughs> keep your mouth shut, bitch. Good thing I have Amtrak points. I have airline miles. I have whatever I need to come get your ass. <laughs> Chase these bitches around the military. That's the fun part of my um, life <laughs> when I get to take these criminals down, as I should. So let's take a look, see what kind of uh, services this bitch got. And the HOA is going to know all about it. Mm mm mm. Two one one, L.A. County. Told you I work for two one one. We got two one one, San Diego. We got two one one, Baltimore. We got a lot of two one ones. Yeah, that's why when I pop up at all these places, I let them know two one one sent me, sweetheart. And I need to make sure I give a good report. <laughs> Getting terminated and get terminated today. So this bitch. Wow. That's fucking wild. People need lives. Their own. Can't be stealing <laughs> to be in the country. Little illegal ass alien. Wow. And see, that's how I can fool them real fast. They change my voice up. So, yeah, they be thinking not only from one place. No, nah, not from there. Neither are you, sweetheart. Because I'm made up. And then they be trying to say that they're from the South. They're a Southern Belle. They know about Southern hospitality. Are they from Atlanta? The land of the down low. <laughs> oh my God, I tell you now. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see. Thank the mighty Lord for <laughs> videos. I told y'all the good thing about living under surveillance is that everyone gets to see what the fuck I do all the time. Law abiding citizen. They should try it sometime. Everybody's seen I get up, go to work, do everything that needs to be done for my family. And that's the problem. These bitches have no family, no nothing. So everything, I tell you, it's a scam. It's a whole fucking, you know, they want you to believe that they have millions of dollars. If this bitch had all this money, what the fuck they doing? Getting some goddamn food stamps. <laughs> really? You hungry, bitch? Are you hungry? <laughs> Probably the same hoe we begging at the damn grocery store for a gift card. Same idiots that want to stalk you um, when you're going to work, begging for everything. You know, I just saw a video about these individuals living in storage units. And I tell you, I have seen this and documented and reported this for years everywhere because I've had storages everywhere. And every time I go to my storage unit, I have to deal with some dirty homeless people sleeping in the fucking unit, which is not safe whatsoever. And just the owners allow them. I'm like, how are you allowing somebody to sleep in your unit? So did I not warn these individuals that I live under FBI surveillance? I did. That's their fucking problem. And you can see, I just walked past three uh, white men just randomly walking by, looking like undercovers. So that's what they like to do, is send them to harass you as pretend everyday people. And given that law enforcement is on it, and FBI hasn't done shit about it, even though I live under surveillance, mm -mm, I'm having to think that these must be FBI agents who are stalking, harassing, posing. Because you think of it, don't FBI agents, aren't they supposed to pose as different roles? So, wouldn't put it past me to think that, hey, it's their fucking ass. The FBI did call me Kabuska. 
said they would not bother me anymore. I can't tell. But that's all I have to Stop let's, let's go, let's go Brandon. And let's go. Because first of all, I already know. People keep trying to say they know me from Baltimore. I said, no, that's the whole bitch using my ID in Baltimore. And um, the FBI called me, and I still have the fucking phone records. They said, uh, is Brandon there? I said, no, I say no motherfucking Brandon. But I do remember a Brandon in San Diego because I was his case manager. And Brandon was very delusional, like to call himself Beyonce. Uh, he used to tell everybody that uh, he's the head of the Illuminati, <laughs> really. Mm -mm -mm. And I used to donate plasma. So that's where also I caught people stealing identities, stealing plasma the whole night, because clearly he needs plasma to survive. So who wasn't at the San Diego PD training facility and passed the written exam? I certainly was. Here we go. Hey, good morning. So I'm on my way to the uh, police training academy. So wish me well. I shall have a good day. I sit for my exam. I gave it about four hours, but hopefully I won't be here all damn day. But uh, just saying good talks. Playing on the side, talking this test. That's me. You see how blonde my hair is? That's what the sun does to my hair, naturally. Okay? Naturally. My hair, dye it red, boom, turn strawberry blonde in the sun, which is great, right? All right, you want to see me with my hair short? When I was in Hollywood, telling all the so-called celebrities, your time is up, like Katy Perry. Who the fuck's this bitch? Can't even sing. Hey, it's me, Lucifer. I told you I would make it to LA. And I've just been singing, of course. Like my hair, colored it violet. I'm like, Oh, anyway, I'm staying at the Charlie Hotel, and it just makes me think of this song. Okay, ready? You make me feel like I'm living a teenage dream. The way you turn me on, I can't sleep. So run away, don't ever look back, don't ever look back. I was trolling that bitch, because I told that hoe, told hey, all of them, Lucifer. you know, that I know. <clears throat> you want to still hear if I can hit the notes? <clears throat> Feel like I'm living a teenage dream. The way you turn me on, I can't sleep. Let's run away and don't ever look back. Don't ever look back. <laughs> so it's not like they weren't warned all of them. Oh, I have time for this and I have the receipts for show. That's the beautiful thing about life. I made no bones, no mistake about who I am. It's just who they say that I am is not who I am. I'm not a sex offender. Definitely, definitely, definitely never did drugs, never was a prostitute. Uh, never got people to sabotage themselves, sell their souls, or any of this foolishness. That was what I did to the demons for doing that to humanity. And that's why it's about to happen all over again. All over again. Do y'all want to see Cracky Karen? Y'all want to see what this bitch look like? Okay. No problema. When racism goes wrong, and that's why um, Carlsbad Holiday Inn Express. Mm -hmm. Looks like I'm about to make a reservation and come right on back there. You trying to be aggressive husband. towards me? Trying to tell me she's about to be Native American? I'm a police officer. Please call them. I already called them earlier. I'll be up San Diego. San Diego. So I don't know who this lady was, but coming up to me yelling and screaming, mm -hmm. this is unacceptable. Sir, sure I'm finished with you. I got you on video. But this one, I don't know who this person is. I can care less. Ma'am, you need to control yourself. <laughs> Thank you. It doesn't matter. You don't, you don't have a right to tell who you're going to be away from. You came out there talking to me, ma'am. You came out here just talking to me. I don't know who you are. I know right now. Yeah, they will come. Because you're, you're on 
a professional. Look at you. You don't ever talk to me like that, ma'am. Let's correct yourself here. I paid for my stay. You're being racist. We all paid for our stay. So I don't need, she had nothing to do with this, sir. I'm done with you. She had nothing, she had no business. After you and I settled this, she had no business coming out. Is this your wife? Is this your wife? No, it's not. You related to her? So what did she come out there talking to me for? So that's what I want to figure out. I have no problem with you, but this lady has come out and been very inappropriate in the way she's talking. Sir, you are not very kind to me. I'm done with you. Now I'm talking to her. Sir, I don't want to talk to you. I want to deal with this one right here. Bye. So this lady thinks she can talk to me any kind of way. I'm going to record her for my safety. She seems angry under the influence, like this guy is drinking open beer under the influence. I do believe that they are under the influence. Good for you. But for this lady, the way she conducted herself in front of the hotel staff, I do have to record it for my safety. This lady seems to be on some type of narcotic. Yelling and screaming? This is not even her country. She's not Native American. I am. Mm. I have my tribal card. Mm. So racism is not acceptable. Mm. So I'll be outside waiting on the police. But for this lady, don't you ever come out your mouth to me like that. Do you understand, ma'am? Thank you. Do you understand? She understands now. Yeah. So when I come with the receipts, I come with the receipts. I even got your fucking layaway receipt, bitch. Fucking with me? Yeah, all true. All fucking true. You know why? Because if I'm able to bust uh, fake ass DC MPD, fake ass Baltimore MPD, fake ass MPD everywhere, how you bitches gonna fuck with me? Because that's all they would do is call the fucking police when I pop up on them using my fucking ID. Make it make sense. It doesn't. But of course, you see how this individual looks. Dirty white crack hoe. Crack hoe. And me. do you think the Try police did me. anything? Do you think the hotel did anything? I was told I had to leave, even though I paid for my stay. And so I said, okay, well, you're going to give me my money back. You should see the little dirty white fucking trailer park faces. No. Ha. Huh. Bet you bitches I got my money back. I got an apology and I got 10,000 fucking points, but now I'm about to sue, 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 motherfucking sue. Because had they did what I told them to do, lock that bitch the fuck up like they were supposed to, like they should have following the law, we would not have this homeless bitch in California still getting food stamps, getting free housing, getting free everything. And another one, and another one. I mean, when does it end? Really? But again... They are supposed to be the leaders of what exactly? Of what? So I got, you know, Carl's back all on camera, the whole thing. Because uh, the police like to be on camera. Cops filmed in front of a live studio audience. I know. So you can't say that you weren't warned, that people didn't know, blah, blah, blah. Nah, man. Yeah, I mean... So, gas lamp hostel, 4th of July vacation. This is where I was staying. So, Maria, gas lamp, got to come get you and Aaron. What's up, baby? Let me kiss you, guy. What's up? I didn't miss you, though, I'm still in custom. Man, so crazy as hell, I said. I went out there last night, smoked me, yeah. Split, of course, here come the idiots trying to roast me. This dummy on the eye. And them little school tires, his block ass come from over there fucking with me. I smoke and the fuck will come running up. And Every I'm time I go smoke. outside to have a smoke yeah, break, because one thing I don't do, I don't smoke in my hotel room. I don't smoke in my condo. I don't smoke anywhere you're not supposed to smoke. They're waiting for you to do some shit like that. So they can put your ass the fuck out. And it's funny how last night, get a uh, text message, uh, People cannot be smoking in the common areas. Well, it's not me smoking in the common areas, but clearly somebody's watching me on that motherfucking camera. Mm -hmm. Or is it somebody else that's living here? Because I had that feeling when I first moved here. I'm like, what if a bitch is in this motherfucking building using my ID? It wouldn't, I would not put it past. It's happened so many fucking times. And it's only a matter of time before we run into each other at the elevator. It's only a matter of time for you get that ass whooped and dragged the fuck out at the dog park. Remember that shit? But nah, the police are going to do it. The marshals are going to do it. Since this bitch want to act like they a ball of shot call. You heard of them acting like they say, <laughs> child, please. I hope this ain't this dirty white bitch broke from D.C. jail. Everybody remember that dirty white hoe? 
sitting up there, uh, went to DC halfway house and got pregnant. <laughs> make it make sense. In jail, having sex with many women <laughs> for noodles and coffee. <laughs> Noodles and coffee. Wow. Just wow. So um, here I was in Orange County. I was in Orange County while this heifer was in San Diego harassing the police and Carlsbad harassing the police, you know. And here I was telling everyone how Hollywood stars are broke. Yeah. Did this, the government come to the land? No. Actually, the land was sold to the government. And you can't sell my fucking land like I want nobody. And try to haul me out to prison like I'm a terrorist. Because that's what happens to me in every country. You ever, uh, you know, you like Mahari? Right? Everyone know and know where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Carmen San Diego right here, darling. If you can't investigate your asses. Mm -hmm. You're lucky I don't shoot you down in the fucking street like I used to. Ain't nobody got time for that. Real it's fucking time. I got time for that. Time for that. Yeah. So you see my braids, you see my own hair, yeah, my own that. thing. And they were so how I know that, uh, the way you see this these people playing the role of the stars, they're broke as hell. Look at them. I told y'all this shit. They don't have no fucking millions of dollars. They lying to you so you save souls and they trick your ass. Fat Trails is in D.C. jail right now. It was there. It was in D.C. jail 2018, 2019, okay? It'd be a year almost. I got out. Look who had to wear a come out of there for fucking six months. Look at them break no fucking rule. Look who went to trial and testified against Grace and won. Look who testified against all y'all. And what? Because y'all are using my identification, committing all this damn crime. I have not sold any coke in a long fucking time. I haven't sold you fucking tranny bitches out in West Hollywood, in Baltimore, in D.C., in every major city. That's why I always go to Las Vegas. I want my money, bitches. Look at my thing. You don't think I went to the game on our show? I did. Where my money, you hoe? Because that's a man. Married to this Adrian Petty. Yeah, because Adrian Fenty using the name as Adrian Petty. And uh, that's a pedophile, this so-called Petty that the so-called Nicki Minaj is married to. Exactly. These, these motherfuckers are delusional as hell. Crazy asses, little stupid horse. You're going to sing out to the ghost chamber, yeah, no way. Because they're the ones always advertising about the mannequin challenge, about... Hamburger, hot dogs, pizza, hot sauce, ice cream, all this tea. Yeah, they're not slick. Tacos, burritos, lollipops. Are you laughing about Pizzagate? When y'all are Pizzagate. They are. Because you sell your children at the White House. Because they do. Because you work at the White House. I you do. You sell your children on Capitol Hill. Like Congressman Ringa. Like Congressman Anthony Brown. Like all of you. Nancy Pelosi is a drunk whore. We all know that. Nancy, put the bottle down, bitch. Come on now, cocaine is a hell of a drug. All of y'all pieces of shit, all of you, every last politician. I don't like none of you. I can't stand none of you. Because y'all so your soul to me. And that's why y'all run from me. I go to Hollywood, nobody guard. What's Hollywood to be in Zark? I go to LA, nobody guard. I go everywhere, nobody guard. What the fuck wrong with y'all? I don't need one. Because y'all know about me. Y'all know that in the past life, I killed all your asses, blew your asses up, smoked your say on fire. Sure care. did, sure will. Don't care about it because one thing you cannot do, you cannot human traffic anyone, especially children. And they're luring children to Hollywood. They, why do you think Skid Row and Hollywood Boulevard in and of itself is full of homeless youth? Yeah, because they are told, you don't need to go to school. You don't have to listen to your parents. You can make it big. No, you cannot. They're lying to you. Complete liars. So y'all heard it for yourself where I was incarcerated among many places because of these individuals and how I fooled them and still fooling them to this day. Will you come look for me far? <laughs> stupid. Stupid ass, stupid asses. Prisons, jails, and psych hospitals equals human trafficking. It's true because these are where these individuals get... Uh, so-called contracts. So let's see. Lucifer versus Illuminati. I put those celebrities on lock. I did. That's why California was the first stay-at-home state mandate because we had to lock everything down. 
Here's me again trolling the celebrities. Yo, what's a going on? It's your girl, yes, Satan. <laughs> now, darlings, darlings, and I've been telling you all this time here that I am the real queen. Okay. The real queen. The real Jamaica. queen. Everywhere. The whole land. Everywhere. Everywhere that you want to call yourself being from, you can't go there without seeing my face. Go to Florida. Oh, the beautiful brown woman on the seal. Come to California. Look at the real seal. The Queen Khalifa. That's why everyone wants to get box braids. Everyone wants to braid their fucking hair. You see how my braids are flawless. Because I know how to do my own hair. And I don't let other people put their hands in my hair. Especially if they don't know how to do fucking hair. Are you kidding me? So you want to know about junkie ass Melissa Hopp, Tamara Martins, and Caitlin Wilson. How I busted them and recorded them when I was living in my beautiful two bedroom in Vista, California. Because I don't know if as I told you before, I said I have a very hard time getting this woman to do anything for me. She's supposed to be. They're not case managers, they're human traffickers, and I busted them. Google the name Melissa Ann Hop, and you will see three homeless uh, white individuals, okay? Crazy. Former mayor of Baltimore, Martin O'Malley, is going to jail. This was three years ago. He got caught stealing furniture and some more stuff. His wife. Heroin and shit don't make no sense. So it don't matter what color you are in this world and age. If you're guilty, you're guilty. I call the police, get your ass the fuck off the property. Get you deported, bitch. Get you sent to the gas chamber hole. So you look at some my fake ass Cardi B. You think I would let that roach bitch throw some shoes at me? How about in locker? Wait, 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 wait. P my regional jail. Everybody remember, did I not beat that bitch with my shoes? And the bitch was lying to be pregnant. These men, to avoid getting beat up in prison and jail, they will say that they are pregnant. <laughs> They're not. Now, see how flawless my skin is back home. That natural, naturalness. And you see how much smaller I was? <laughs> well, if you were incarcerated, you gained some weight, too, is all I'm going to fucking say. And they try to starve you in jail. D.C. jail feeds you at 3 a.m. They be on demon time. Former D.C. Mayor Adrian Malik Fenty is a crack-smoking junkie. He is. Everybody knows. Fuck. What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Rihanna. Rihanna, the real one. We had the demons. me know so far. And as you can understand, there's only one queen being in this car, in this world, period. So, it look like I'm going to expose that, uh, what I've been telling you all along. Bay means boy, hello. You see this unnatural woman's face? Beautiful. Naturally. This is my hair. Naturally. And unfortunately, for boy and say, can I tell you Bay means boy? And I tell you that Donald Trump was a uh, black woman playing a real tricking out real bad, deceiving her now. So Carl and Curry going to jail is like me said. Carl so if you Fenty, aka Grace Elizabeth Reedy, mm -hmm. the fake Lily Beth is going ass the fuck out of here. Gustavo is gonna shoot you both in your fucking faces. So that way everyone can come off lockdown. Except for guess who's all gone on lockdown to join their little celebrity friends? And the corporate CEOs that's already on lockdown. How about the entire United States political corporate beast system? Because that's the issue right there. The reason why these Nazis have come into America and are faking the funk, because oh, let me tell you how I caught three dirty whores, three dirty ass white girls that's from uh, Pennsylvania. What the fuck they doing out? California using my stolen DC IDs. Can I steal my DC ID, my Maryland ID, my Virginia ID? In a state that I moved to, these whores fucking follow me around, homeless bitches, just like me said. And they were stealing, just like me said. You know I got the receipts, right? So back to boy and say, yeah, so this bitch right here, like Michelle Obama, like, uh, what's that bitch, Melania Trump, like Hillary Clinton, like Adam fucking assholes, they're all transgender, they're all tricking y'all now. And then on top of that, they have the nerve to be sitting around talking that bullshit. Like, they are irreplaceable. <clears throat> 
place. Who the fuck told these crack boys to be smoking up all my crack? Be coming around like they brand fucking row. So I saw all these politicians up. I saw all them Hollywood stars up. You think El Chapo? No, baby. That's a fucking lie. The real true queen of coca is me. I am not from Mexico. I am Jamaican. It's just so happy that I do real good business in Mexico. Because I'm less and I'm a real game star. I never join no gang. Hmm. And I give everyone an equal opportunity. You work, I pay. You don't work good, I don't pay. And I never disrespect my workers. And I got workers everywhere now. Sure and do. I'm about tomorrow in DC. Sure do. I let you get, you know what I'm saying? Sure do. So they're using my life story to pretend to be gangsters. Being a gangster doesn't mean that you go around terrorizing people, that you go around stealing. You know what a real gangster is? A businesswoman, a politician, the mother of the church. I don't play with you demons at all, at all. So y'all were warned, y'all knew. That's why I tell you that my reputation precedes me because when people see these videos, they get to thinking, oh, we're going to send her back to jail. No, the fuck you not. We don't need no more trials because trials have already been concluded. You bitches have been busted, have gone to prison how many fucking times? I never have gone to prison because I've never been convicted of anything because I'm not a fucking criminal. You bitches are. My tribal card? We know who stole the tribal card. Mm-hmm. Now we know who stole the military credentials. And the last bitch stole the law enforcement credentials. You bitches need a fucking life. Your own. And your your life needs to end. Because clearly, can't nobody seem to get the job done but me. That's fine. So here I am, chilling at Hilton, getting away from homeless. Every fucking hotel I go to, no matter how nice, here they are. Sleeping in the fucking lobby. Sleeping in the laundry room. Sleeping in the hallways. And then you got to go to the front desk. What the fuck are y'all doing? Why are you allowing these bums to be here? Just like uh, in a lot of gyms and a lot of storage places where people are going to handle business. I have business stuff in my storage. I can't even go to my P.O. box without dirty homeless sleeping inside the fucking post office. Make it make sense. And the post office has cameras. Probably trying to steal my mail. Hmm. Like they did. Hey everyone, so I'm relaxing still. I decided to stay another day. Uh, not trying to be double paying for two different hotel reservations. Uh, I'll be bouncing on these break. bitches. I book one and this go to the, the other. This is the first time in a long time with this whole coronavirus bullshit that I've been able to look. I'm outside. Yay. I'm actually able to sit down outside, enjoy the fresh air, the sunshine, my smoke, and not be harassed. You know, mm. maybe I shouldn't say that too loud because I haven't seen a homeless person on this property yet, which is a lesson. That's how it should be. They are always homeless. They are always wanting to get on the bus for free, get on the train for free, barely can afford to pay for a whole airline ticket. You know, these passport bros, that's what they are. They go from state to state because no woman wants them. No man wants them. That's why they have to dress up to try to trick men. Make it make sense. But they're living their truth. Can't be. So I'm about to cut this video. And we're going to get it cracking with part two once I go outside and smoke. And I'm pretty sure these little dumb bitches will be sitting outside a car or try to find some reason to come talk to me. They can talk to the camera. They can talk to the FBI. I have nothing to say out of my hands. You're done. I've told you bitches. You, yeah, they all got caught how many fucking times and how many jurisdictions. So at this point, yes, I'm recommending the gas chamber because that's the only way to get rid of these demons who don't want to leave, don't want to do their job, want to stalk and harass everyone, want to impersonate everyone, steal their IDs. That's why all these gangs keep coming up to me in lockup and I have to break it to them. It's not me, babe. I'm not the one stole all y'all stuff. And do you know how I get the gang stuff back from all of them? Beat up the leader. You have to whoop the leader's ass. It's just that simple. Sometimes the leader thinks they're a CEO. Sometimes the leader is the fucking warden. Sometimes the leader is a dirty ass inmate that was on fucking lockdown until I popped up. And then this bitch was in protective custody. Got you scared in protective custody. 
but you a whole gangster. Yeah, fucking right. Bitch is not, these bitches is not gangster. Doing each other for noodles and coffee and jail. That ain't gangster. Bending over. You a man. You got bent over by many men. That's not gangster. Stealing. Stealing from your own gang members. And I got to come save them. That's why Mexican Mafia knows me. Nazi lowriders knows me. DC Blacks knows me. Because they I, one by one, I let them all see for themselves. As soon as I beat the leader up, and then I'm in lockdown, who's stealing y'all shit? I'm behind a fucking glass door. <laughs> I'm behind a fucking door, right? You know, the little ping. I be telling, pop my motherfucking door, bitch. I'm coming out. <laughs> When I come off a wreck, nobody's allowed to be on the floor. When I go anywhere, I am shackled down to the floor. Nobody is allowed anywhere. Why? Because you're using my ID, you're a sex offender, and you know sex offenders do not have it good in jail. They're not supposed to. They're not supposed to. So the first thing I let everybody know, you know this bitch is a sex offender, right? You know this bitch is a man, right? Not supposed to be on the unit with us not supposed to be nowhere with any woman whatsoever with any anyone yeah go to the men's side you're a man if you're a man you belong on the men's side period you don't belong in a women's bathroom you don't belong anywhere that there are real women and it's not homophobic it's not trans it's not any of that it's called i am not entertaining your delusions psychopaths yeah, fuck with me. Bitches can't. Go fuck with the FBI. You bitches can't.